Roses are not just red. A rainbow of colors and fragrance welcomes you to Chambly's Rose Nursery, just north of Tyler. Owner Mark Chambly is the third generation of his family to grow this favored flower, and there's nothing he would rather do. My grandfather on both, grandfathers on both sides, my mom's side and my dad's side, both grew roses, one in Van Zandt County and one here in, in Smith County. And uh, it just kind of got into to my blood. As you stroll through his East Texas nursery, you will see over 200 varieties of roses from all over the world, with names as unique as their colors. Mark is not growing the roses you buy at Valentine's Day, but the roses you plant in your yard and enjoy throughout the year. Every plant on these six acres is grown using a method called own root, which simply means the roses grow on their own roots. Own root is where you actually take a piece of the stem from the rose and through uh, rooting it with a rooting hormone and putting it into a soil medium, you get a plant that way. Like a, a homeowner would root a piece of ivy or something, very similar. Whereas in the past, when the industry began in Tyler, the majority, in fact nearly all of the production, was field grown. Tyler is known as the rose capital of the world, and Mark and his family are part of that heritage. When a peach blight destroyed most of the fruit industry in the early 1900s, growers turned to roses, and a legacy bloomed. At one point in the 1940s, more than half of the roses in the U.S. came from this East Texas town. Mark is carrying on that tradition, helping to grow a better rose, both for his customers and the environment. Uh, we do recycle about 80 to 90 percent of our runoff water that is brought back into production to irrigate our houses. We're actually running this operation off of one well that produces 35 to 40 gallons a minute. There is no way we could do six acres of roses with one well without the recycle. He is also using what he calls biopesticides, which are like nutrients to help build the plant's own immunity, stopping disease before it starts. Some of his roses are labeled earth kind, which means they will be the easiest to grow in Texas, more drought tolerant, using less water and fertilizers. All of this so folks who buy his roses will be successful gardeners. The very best time to plant roses is in October. Spring is a very good time, but I like to plant my roses in the fall. That way they establish a root system before winter, go into natural dormancy, and then that spring they're established and ready to do well in the landscape. Mark grows between 200 and 300,000 roses every year. He not only sells to walk-in customers, but also ships his roses all over the U.S., brightening up landscapes around the country with the beauty of Texas. For TFB News, Ed Wolf, Tyler.